Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Washing Dishes, where today we're going to make hummus, one of my absolute favorite dips and a dish that I have enjoyed since childhood. Uh, my great aunt had a really wonderful recipe that I have modified and I'm going to share with you today. Here's the ingredients. We've got some garbanzo beans, of course, and some sesame paste, also called tahina or tahini, extra virgin olive oil, a couple of lemons that we're going to squeeze and zest, garlic, and of course, a little bit of salt and pepper. That said, we're also making some other stuff. We're going to drain our chickpeas just to get the aquafaba out. You could save that aquafaba, um, but I always save it like I'm going to pretend I'm going to use it for something and then never do. So we're just giving these a quick little rinse in the sink to get the extra liquid off, and then we'll go ahead and get started on our hummus. Garbanzo beans into the bowl of our food processor. And then we'll add our tahina. And a fair amount of extra virgin olive oil. I'll have ratios and quantities in the description. And with everything in there, we're going to go ahead and pop the top on and take these for a spin in the food processor. Really all we're doing here is just getting started breaking down the chickpeas and getting everything mixed together. We're not like we're not trying to make the hummus here. We're going to have to add more of a lot of stuff as we go. This is just kind of getting a base paste going. And with that all set, we're going to go ahead and zest in our lemon, squeeze in the juice and a little more olive oil and salt and pepper, and then we're going to take it for another spin. Oh, and the garlic. Let's not forget the garlic. And now, I really can't recommend getting this shot. You don't want to run a food processor with the lid off. It's not safe, but my hands are currently occupied running it and shooting, so it's not going to hurt me. Uh, it is kind of making a mess, but it illustrates really well how it comes together and into a nice smooth paste. So, risks. All right, and now we can finish this in the bowl, and because we're going to make some kind of experimental hummuses with stuff I have lying around in the fridge, I'm not going to actually get it all the way there. I'm going to get it like 80% of the way as regular hummus, and then we'll add our special ingredients to the experiments while we, add, while we finish most of this as just my usual hummus recipe. So it's going to be a little disjointed, but everything's going to be in there. It's just, you'll see. So to finish the regular hummus, I'm just going to grate in or zest in a little more lemon zest, a little more lemon juice, a little more olive oil, salt and pepper. We're just basically adding a little bit more of all the things that are already in there to round it out, bulk it up, and finish off our traditional, quote-unquote traditional, version of the hummus. And then we'll start talking about how we're going to mess with the other stuff to get some kind of fun, different experimental flavors. Like, I didn't plan any of the hummuses I'm going to make in advance. I was literally just like, all right, I'm making hummus. I want to make some flavored hummuses. What do I have in the fridge and in the cabinet? So, yeah. It should be fun. Once the hummus is ready, go ahead and pop it in an airtight container and it'll last in the fridge for about three weeks or freezer for about two months before it is just kind of bleh and not, not something you want to eat. And here's the stuff for the experiments. We're going to do three different kinds of hummus and we're going to add some fun stuff. For the first one, we're using this green chili paste that I made way too long ago. Second one is going to be Asian with some miso, gochujang, some toasted sesame oil, and some soy sauce. And then the final one is going to use some garlic and chive oil, sorry, garlic and onion oil, some parmesan, some feta, and then just a little bit of red wine vinegar. So let's get into it. All right, so the process for these is all pretty simple. I'm going to scoop the small bowl into the big bowl. I'm going to add the various changes and mix it all up. 
and then we'll taste them afterwards. Hummus is one of those infinitely versatile dishes. I've made these. I've made buffalo and blue cheese hummus, various herb hummuses. You can do anything you want. Just keep it all balanced, and it's spectacular. And with our traditional flavored hummus and our three experiments done, let's give it all a taste. I'm obviously going to start with the traditional hummus. We'll just, you know, grab some pita and give it a taste. It's my it's my usual hummus. I I mean, what what's to say? I really like it. I'm not going to make I'm not going to keep making a recipe I don't like. Um, so with that one out of the way, let's go ahead and taste our experiments. We're going to start with the feta parmesan and uh, garlic and onion oil, and it is delicious. It's kind of creamy. You get that cheese flavor. You get the garlicky, oniony flavor, a little bit of zing from the red wine vinegar. Top notch. And now we'll try the green chili paste one, which is really delicious. Don't get me wrong but also uh, very spicy. That chili paste was made with a bunch of like scorpion peppers and some other serious spice peppers. It's really, really good, but I can't keep eating it. It's really tasty though. And so for the Asian hummus, Asian style, I don't know what to call it. Um, it's, there is, it's definitely somebody's, somebody's going to love this. I like it. It's good. It's not great, but it's, it's good. So, like I said, somebody is really going to love this. It, I'm just not that somebody. I'm totally going to finish this, but you know, anyway, make some hummus. It's cheap. It's stable in the fridge for a while. It's incredibly versatile. And I had some trouble deciding how to organize the containers for the beauty shot. But you know, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your time zone and check me out on the socials in the description.